can though. Let's try. Yeah, we can. Don't have any cool vampire dialogue options. What are you doing out of my dream, beautiful? That sucks. Okay, can we bug Jeanette? Or no? We cannot go bug her yet. That's a bummer. But the old is creepy. Can you like move for two seconds? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Oh, to get the tongue, you have to find somebody to call off a few. We can't go talk to Jeanette yet, I guess. Right? No, we can't. Oh, don't talk to this guy. I don't drink alcohol. Ooh, creepy. Let's just ask for Teresa. <laughs> Um, none of these sound very convincing. Yay! Okay, fat guy. Alright, we're gonna go see you next. Oh, we're gonna go see you soon, you next. You guys double meaning. That pretty much mean both things. I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bit. Oh, God. I can't even look at you sometimes. I'll take this. You're just gonna yell at each other for a while. Uh, Carnival of Death. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the fight of you. You can't see me. That's the worst mirror ever. Feeling that dirty, diseased mind. Sin. You have no sin. Still can't get in. <laughs> we have to listen but to them. Was without sin, past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? Aww. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Well, all right. Hi, everybody. That's kind of creepy. A little bit. Another terrible, ridiculous mirror. I'm gonna just like hack their computer while they're right by us. Um, let's see how high my hacking is. Yes. Molek. Nope, didn't work. Sad face. Oh well. We'll work on that later. Let's talk to Therese. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Um, Jeanette? She was no trouble. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Are you Therese? Therese Borman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Call off the feud. Jen's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. Why do you hate he him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister, and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Um, why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? That's unfortunate, but I do need to see Tongue him. Tongue and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been... Oh, jeez. ...an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. This is the worst part of the game. It's so scary. Um, a spirit? You mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. 
Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Okay. What do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? Who is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt? While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. I'll do it if you promise to call off the feud. I really oh, don't want I to. I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Okay, well that's nice. I guess we're gonna go do that next time. We're gonna go into the house. I'm really not excited to go into the house. The house is, well, I guess it's a hotel. <coughs> it's really scary. <coughs> sure, y'all enjoy it. But I won't. I won't. I haven't played this in a long enough time that I really don't remember all the scary things or where they are specifically. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do one more little side quest bit and that'll be it. That'll be it! Okay, where are we going? Uh, yes, yes, I know, ghost hunting, Asian vampire. Let's go to the blood bank. Yeah, we can go to the blood bank figure out what's going on there just shortly a little bit of blood banky action I believe that's on the other side here I wish your blood meter went down over time so you like had to eat someone every once in a while where's the fun if you can't eat people tattoos can't go in there bummer all right Let's go to the hoxical. Hello, old people. Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. What? What? Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. I can't. Oh, that's crap. Wait a second. What's my little character sheet? Okay, I have a ton of experience points that I haven't used. So, I'm going to put a whole point in intimidation so I can hopefully Please wait intimidate your turn her. And you'll be seen. Wow. Awesome. Okay, fine. We're going in through the back. Scumbag nurse lady. Make you waste all my cool points. Whatever. Just go in through the blood bank side. Oh, ringing. Let me go upstairs. This is how we get into the hospital through the back. Oh, no lockpicks. Need to get some of those. Oh, well, we'll just talk to the blood bank guy and then we'll call it a day or a night because we are a vampire after all. <laughs> is this the right way? Yes, it is. I think. Yeah, this is the right way. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Huh? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh. But isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? This guy's such a jerk for no reason. They all come in here with that same nonchalant look. With that, who me, stare, as if they were so <laughs> clever. Do you think you're the first vampire to try and come in here to buy blood? Honestly. Um, if you have to ask, show me what you got. Yeah, we got enough blood. We don't really need any. How much money do we have? We don't even have that much money. Ugh. Need a fix? No, but I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. I don't think you heard me. I said I need to get into the back room. This mortality is such a handicap. 
If we were on a level playing field, you wouldn't be so bold. If one slash to the throat could mean the difference between existence or not. Okay, it doesn't though. Mm. Opened. Easy enough. Don't worry, I won't make too much of a mess. Okay. It's not this door, it's this door. Yep. Hi everybody, I'm back in your thing. Um We need to go into one of these. I think we need to use this. I forgot what the code is. I wanna say it's nineteen sixty four, but I think I'm wrong. Yep, I'm definitely wrong. Let's try nineteen sixty three. 1962! Okay, never mind. Could do this the log Oh god, were we locked in? Okay, good. Um. I forgot what's supposed to be in here. I think we're supposed to find Lily in here somehow. Oh wow. Well. we'll do that later. We <laughs> what are we even looking for? I don't remember. We'll find something, I'm sure. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! This is promising, sort of. Really, sort of. I mean, that's like a big stretch when I say sort of. <gasps> now we're in the creepy back part of the, the best physics ever. Ooh, there's a dead guy. Hello? He's got a chest. We still need lockpicks. That's the um, Rolf guy, I think. Oops, we're in this mode. Cadavers. Don't think I can hack this yet. Nope, we can't. Cue, cue. Oh well, that's alright. Wait, is there a drawers I can look in? No. Hey. Morgue. We were just here. Creepy elevator. Okay, it looks like um, that didn't really help us, unfortunately. Let's see where this takes us. Looks like I just need to get some lockpicks. Oh, this is like the super mega back way to the hospital. Sweet. Take this key. Never know when you need a key. There's gonna be a police officer around here that's kind of like creepy. He's like, "Hello, what are you doing here?" Where is he? He's kind of massively scary. Oh, <gasps> awesome. Man, I could like keep playing. <laughs> I keep saying like, okay, I'm not gonna play anymore. But there's so much stuff to do. Um, chart. Good chart. I need to find a werewolf blood. This is that guy. Oh, 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 morphine. There we go. There's. I think that'll do for Mercurio. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna stop here because there's a lot of stuff to do in the hospital. I could see like three or four little mini quests for us to do. So we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's kind of like a mid, uh, intermediate type set where we get everything set up for the main quest lines. Next time, I will go into the house. I will go into the mansion, hotel. <laughs> I like calling it everything but a hotel. <laughs> Next time, we will go into the beach bungalow with all the ghosts. I'm really scared about. <laughs> uh, have a good Sunday, everyone. Talk to you later.